Good morning, everyone. Brian here again with BMK Retro Gaming. <clears throat> Have to excuse me, my science is racking up again. And as usual, it is pretty early morning here, uh, a little after one, but I do have my coffee going already, and well, there wouldn't be a video this morning except for another little special occasion. We've got another little uh, unboxing to do. Not going to be too long or too big, just a simple one. Anyway, this package arrived for me on Saturday. Which, uh, how do you say, I'd already had an unboxing video that morning from a, a package arriving Friday and then Sunday ha uh, Sunday morning had uh, the Co ColecoVision homebrew review video coming up. So I just decided to save this one for this morning. Anyway, it's from um, Beyond First Base in North Stanton, Connecticut. And it is a loose copy of the Intellivision original library game from Activision, River Raid. Now, I had a copy of this one um, that my old friend Scott Go, I believe, had sent me even before this channel got started. But somewhere between my last apartment, losing it, you know, and... Uh, Slightly staying with a friend and then being homeless and having everything in storage. Well, I don't know if I really lo lost it or not, but I've never seen it again, despite looking quite a bit. And so I guess it may still be stuff somewhere in something that I just haven't looked through, but never saw it again. So I decided, well, go ahead and order another copy. As one might expect, it was at least somewhat more high end. I mean, this is a game that... uh it's from Activision for one thing, and even a loose copy, you know, it's going to run you a little more than your average uh, uncommon, or I mean, uh, uh, common games. Even if it is a loose copy, not in 100% perfect condition. For instance, with this one, the seller had listed it as in acceptable condition, and it is. The uh, one side of the casing on the cartridge is just a little loose, and comes up a bit but not bad I mean it will still plug in and play just fine contacts are still fairly clean um, cartridge didn't at any risk of really pulling or coming straight apart unless you really tried to force it so it is in acceptable condition and that's perfectly fine I mean that was in the description and doesn't ruin the game being a working game so no skin off my nose anyway um, it's nice to have because this is one port of River Raid, uh, which is actually a very good one. And I actually enjoyed playing one quite a bit before, at least before my last copy somehow went AWOL. When you're having to move around and all that, it does happen. And like I said, the other one might still be in here somewhere that I just haven't found, but I just want to go ahead and get another one because I'd been it'd been kind of a, how do you say, a sore point with me that I couldn't figure out what happened to my first one, so I said, well, I'll get another one. And this one um, is 83-something uh, before everything and after shipping, handling, and taxes came to, uh, I was looking at about $90, but again, the, this is one of those games that'd be a little bit higher end at least, you know, uh, regardless of condition, being a loose copy. Or I could have possibly overpaid some for it, but it was the one I could find, and really you don't see that many of them. At least I haven't seen that many of them available, so. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, do this little short unboxing video before um, yeah, this package had been here for too long without it being done. If you enjoy my channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comments section below. I've got a ColecoVision original library game review coming up. Uh, on Wednesday, so if that draws your interest, be sure to go ahead and check back with me then, and I'll see you guys again on Wednesday. You guys take care, have a good uh, good Monday, Monday, and I'll see you then.